Welcome back friends. In my previous video, I had made this transmitter and receiver and in that video, I told you that I will be using this transmitter and receiver in my next project. So this is the project about which I was telling you. As you have seen the thumbnail, so you know what we will be making. All the links of course schematics are given in the description box below. So without any further ado, let's begin. I have created the parts list, you can refer through this. So first I took one rectangular piece of cardboard and marked two circles to place the bearings. Then I super glued the ball bearings in that desired marked place. It will look something like this. Now I took two large screw and nut like these one. And then I parsed the screws through the ball bearings and fixed it tightly with the help of nut. After that, I super glued the bow motors to the screws. To super glue the bow motors, first I took two nuts and joined them with the help of adhesive and then using super glue, I placed the bow motors on the desired place as you can see. After that, to make the mechanism of steering system, I fixed two aluminum wires like these and held them in a desired position using nuts as you can see in the video. Now we have to make the steering clip for the servo motor. I made this steering clip with the help of aluminum wires. The side couplers are made from the strips of cardboard. After assembling everything, it will look somewhat like this. As you can see, I have placed the servo in the middle position and using hot glue gun, I will fix it in that place. So our steering part is complete. For the rear part, I have placed one bow motors and fixed it with the help of iron angles. After that, I finally attached the tires to all the motors. Now let's build the electronics. The transmitter and receiver I am using in this car is completely based on Arduino. If you want to make the receiver and transmitter refer to my previous video. So here is the complete working of the electronic parts. Check all these things before so as to make sure every part is working great. To power the circuit and the motors I am using two 18650 lithium ion batteries. Make sure that bow motors run in the same direction according to the throttle response from the transmitter. After that, we are good to go. As you can see, I have connected the motors and the servo motors to the receiver. A special note, if by chance you are giving throttle upwards and the car is going backwards, then to solve this problem, just interchange the wires of the motor in the receiver circuit. Now let's test the RC car I made. As you can see the throttle response is great and also the proportional steering helps the RC vehicle to steer at any angle. The grip of the tire is also awesome. At last my friends if my video helped you in learning something then drop a like subscribe my channel for more content like this see you in my next video